Uh, Ernie LaRosa here at Homewood Field with a victorious Jim Margraff. Johns Hopkins top Gettysburg 37-14 tonight at Homewood Field. And Jim, you, most important thing, you come out with a win, 7-0, 6-0 in the Centennial Conference now. Yeah, I'm re real excited and very proud of our players. Uh, Gettysburg's always a, a tough game. Our guys came out, played extremely well early. You never know during the week. We got a good week of practice. Friday was a little bit lax and I was, I was a little concerned. But uh, our guys came out and they made it very clear early on that they were, uh, they were serious about tonight. You know, Gettysburg's a much improved team defensively, and uh, you know they did a good job against the run, but really Braden was on fire. Braden Anderson, 288 yards passing and four touchdowns before the half. Just talk about his performance. Yeah, he, he played great, and uh, yeah, he, he does a great job reading defenses. There's a lot of times that there's a run and a pass called at the same time. It's his, his job to choose, and uh, he, he made some great decisions tonight. One of the guys that's really emerging as one of the top uh, wide receiving threats in the league is Brad Monday. Talk about his effort tonight. Just some great catches, uh, a beautiful touchdown reception there in the first quarter. Yeah, he, he's, he's made some great catches the last few weeks. He's, he's an explosive player. He's got great hands. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't have a lot of size to him, but he finds a way to get open. He's still powerful, and uh, he's been playing at a very high level lately. You, know, you look at the final score, 37-14, and Gettysburg got close to 300 yards, and a lot of that came uh, you know, after the, that we had built up a bit of a lead there. But talk about the defensive effort in the first half. Gettysburg really struggled to get on track. Yeah, I mean, I think we were at 30. Uh, we, you know, our, our guys played great in the first half. We, we had a, you know, a strong lead in the second half. We just played this, you know, our, you know, we played Praden just for a series, I think, and, and got some other guys some work. This time of year, it's really important. We don't have a JV program. It's important to get a lot of our guys out uh, playing in meaningful situations. Uh, so they did a great job. Gettysburg always fights. We know that. And uh, you know, we knew they'd, they'd have a strong second half. But I was really proud of the way uh, all our players played tonight. I know this isn't something you'll want to talk about, but a milestone win for you tonight. Tie the record for most wins by a college football coach in Maryland State history. Just you know, talk about uh, you know, what that means you know, as a whole career and what you've been able to accomplish here at Johns Hopkins. Yeah, it means I've been here for a long time. But there's been a lot of great coaches, a lot of great players that have uh, that have put a lot of effort into our program. It's, it's nice to have that many wins. Uh, we're excited about it, but this is a week-to-week -week business, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy we won tonight, and I'm already thinking about next week right now. But uh, it, 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 is, it is nice that, uh, that Hopkins as a program is, is you know, at least getting to a, a certain level of success right now. Okay, again, Johns Hopkins tops Gettysburg 37-14 here at Homewood Field on a Friday night. Great crowd on hand to see the Blue Jays. Next in action a week from tomorrow, Adder Sinus, big showdown with the Bears up in Collegeville.